There, you beautiful, happy humans. We are here in Winter Garden on a very chill and blustery day. We're going to check out the farmer's market. We're going to check out a little bit of downtown Winter Garden. And maybe later on today, we're going to go to a place in Davenport, Florida that reminds us of our friends over in the UK. Come join us, subscribe, like, comment down below. Do all the fun things that you happy humans do. We'll see you around. We're walking over to Chuck's bike rama When my bike was actually stolen. Actually, no. We are here at Wheelworks. They've got all kinds of bicycles to choose from and clothing attire. Wow, James. James, come here, check this bike out. I want this bike so bad. Look at this bike. What do you, <laughs> what do you think of that? That's kind of a cool looking bike. I've never ridden a bike like that. That is awesome. So after talking to those people inside, this bike is called a penny farthing and most of the employees can ride it. Over here at Savor or Save Freeze Dried Food, they gave me a um, freeze dried Skittle. I don't know, I'm gonna wanna try it real quick. Maybe get the kids, we can check it out. All right, freeze dried Skittle, here we go. It's very, very crunchy, but like, so good. you can definitely taste the Skittle in it, so. Let's head over to the fruit and vegetable pavilion. I think that's where Nicole and the kids are at. Ooh, it's still brisk today. Oh, there they are. Over here, walking around Winter Garden, I come across this amazing artist. Now, everybody that kind of knows Josie's really been into art lately, and she loves this. But as we're talking to Hubert, and I'll put a link to his website and how you can get a contact hold of him down below. But this is Hubert right here. Hi. Hi. And uh, he's from France. Yeah. And he moved here 18 years ago. And uh, he's living now in Celebration, Florida, and this art is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Is there any advice you can give to aspiring artists? Well, every start with imagination. Really, because what does an artist? He has images in his mind, and mm -hmm. he's trying to use his fingers to, to paint what he has in his mind. So everything is about imagination, and technically, everything starts with a drawing, with a pencil. So if you want to be an artist first, just buy a pencil, <laughs> and yeah. a sheet of paper, and draw, and draw, and draw. And keep on drawing. And, and keep, keep on drawing, and use your imagination. And do the things you love to do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You yes. have to love art. Not only what you do, go to museums. Just learn with the masters. You have masters that they did so amazing paintings. Well, the, 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 and you have here... There's a little in, museum around the corner. Now you have in the... You have the Ringling, Ringling oh, Museums. Yes. Yeah, I saw uh, that, yes. The Ringling Museum is very good. Okay. And you have a school of art in the Ringling, by the way. Okay, okay. So go and see what they did. Okay, we'll have to check buy that books, out. Buy books of Leonardo, Raffaello. Oh, the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Yeah, the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, the four. <laughs> yeah, there's four. Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll replace Donatello with Botticelli. Okay, okay. Botticelli. Sandro. Sandro. <laughs> okay. okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. We're walking down here, uh, down this little pathway by the farmer's market, and uh, I think I'm going to ask him a couple questions at this coffee place. <laughs> Over here at Sweetland Cake and Tea, they have these really cool things called sumo bowls. But uh, it's too cold for ice cream right now. Maybe another day. So we're here at the fresh produce part of this little farmer's market. There are some tremendous deals. They have avocados, three for two dollars. You can get limes, eight for two dollars. Honey bells, which is crushing mandarin oranges and grapefruit, Five for five. There are some really good deals here. We're gonna get a couple things here and keep continuing shopping. Oh, that's really bright. Ah. All right, Nicole.
Nicole's going to rapid fire what we got at the farmer's market produce stand. Okay, we got two eggplant, four cucumber, about four pounds of peppers, four limes, five of these honey bells, a huge head of cabbage, and three avocado. How much? $19.99. amazing vibe Winter Garden Farmer's Market has. I love that place. I want to be there though when it's warmer on another day. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be back with some friends from across the pond. On to the next part of our adventure. Like, This cool bookstore has a lot of cool books. Like this really cool office little golden book. Right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, little golden book. I said it right. It doesn't happen all the time on the first take. And check this out. Willie Nelson, Harry Belafonte, Carol Burnett. I'm going to grab this for my uh, office collection and nerdism. You filthy animals. We have made it to Davenport, Florida. About a 40 minute drive, non-tolls. We're going to check out Best of the British. The pub. Oh my gosh, guys, this place is amazing. We just got done talking to Martin. I don't know too much about British food or what to get, but he explained a lot to us. He's gonna send somebody over, give us some recommendations. I can't wait to try this. I can't wait to bring some friends here. This place, I'm in love with it so far. And they've got all kinds of like cool things over here to check out and, and to buy. Like you saw the uh, Cadbury chocolate, uh, Nestle original hobnobs. What's not to like? It. What's that? We should buy all of it. And pretend that we're British. I'm not going to do that here because my accent is going to be so over the top. We're not here. Yeah, We're yeah. The people that can call you out in Yeah, yeah. Other Americans. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this place so much. You can hear them saying, hey Jude, part of the soccer game behind us. This, <laughs> this place is amazing. I love it. All right, so when we lived in Cincinnati, you could go to Jungle Gyms and get all kinds of cool things from the UK. Now, living here in Orlando, come to Davenport, come to this little pub. Check this out, look. What do I see here? Oh, <laughs> this coffee crisp. Yeah, that's awesome. We got this little Mars bar right here. Lion, so many, so many crazy fun treats and candies to get. All right, so I've got my bacon sandwich, which is right here. And you can see that their bacon really is not like a um, bacon that we consider, it's more like a ham. And uh, Nicole wanted to say, like, look at the forks. There's three pronged forks. Let me see what your fork looks like. Mine's on there. Look at that. Is yours a four prong? No, yeah, you got a small little four prong. Maybe that's, I don't know. Maybe we're just not fancy enough to know what a three pronged fork versus a four pronged fork is. But yours looks more like a cocktail fork, maybe. I don't know. But Tatum did get the tuna melt. Josie, let's see what we got for Josie. Josie, what'd you get? Mac and cheese. So I noticed there's no ketchup for the chips here, which is fine, but they've got this, it's called Daddy's Favorite Brown Sauce. I don't know what it is. Is it your favorite brown sauce? Yeah, you can try it. It smells um like a steak sauce or vinegar. I don't know, it's got a vinegary smell to it. Let's try it out. All right, let's try it. Let's see what we got. It's interesting and different. I don't know. It does have a vinegar taste to it. 
let's see what's in it spirit vinegar water molasses glucose fructose syrup sugar dates rye flour salt daddy's favorite brown Dad, sauce what an amazing place that is what an amazing guy martin is i got to sit and i got to talk to him for just a little bit um, after our meal the things he says makes me want to go back even more talking about being you know open to the community, helping out, making it a nice place for families to be in and, and just enjoy their time, whether they have soccer games going on, uh, whether they've got like just old shows like Faulty Towers or whatever. The Best of British is an amazing place. Definitely go check it out. All right, guys, we just got home and what a wonderful day exploring parts of Orlando we had today. The Winter Garden Farmer's Market was tremendous, just a bit cold, but we will definitely be there again. And we did go back and we bought some art. This is what we got for Josie. This is what she wants to put above her bed so she can be inspired. And uh, thank you, Hubert, for your kind words and talking in the video. I really appreciate that. And then Best of British, right? Is that what it's called? Best of British Pub and Cafe. Love it. The gentleman there was so kind, so nice. A very, very cool atmosphere. The food is very simple. It's very good and it's very tasty. I, said, I might have said this earlier, but when they started singing Hey Jude at the beginning of the football match, we call it soccer here in America, that gave me goosebumps. Thought that was just really cool little environment. He's sitting there, he's watching the game from the bar. Really, really cool. We're going to check that place out again. They also do live music. So who knows what that means for me in the future. Anyway, guys, Hubert's going to close us out. Thanks for watching. Shalom. Soyez une personne heureuse et toujours la paix, c'est ce qui est important. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, Mr. Fogg, I don't want to work here anymore. Oh.